welcome to winemastery.co.uk. My name is John Lightford and this is... And John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines, that you will absolutely adore. And in this episode, we are tasting a wine as a bottle springs up in between us. We are tasting a moss... Well, now I'm going to trigger this in Monstrel. Monstrel, yeah. Monstrel. Yeah. And uh, the particular wine is available from uh, Naked Wines and it is called La Nafinia. <laughs> well, I've just, just, just maybe not because he's laughing, so maybe. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not laughing. Maybe not. I'm, I'm merely smiling with gusto. And this is purely because before uh, we, we started this video, we, we, we practiced that word I like, many, on many, many, many occasions. And I've still got it wrong. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. So it is La Nymphina. Well, so, well, well, well. Uh, so uh, let's have a taste, shall we? And this is a Spanish wine, by the way. It's Spanish wine. Let's have a look, si look single at the colour first. We're looking at the colour. Oh, yes, we're going to look at the colour. And let me look, show you the colour. I mean, that is really nice and deep, isn't it? Deep, rich, burgundy colour. That's, 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 that's the, the colour of blood. So. Yeah. What brilliant marketing burgundy have mm. wine, because everyone refers to it as a colour, so... Every time everyone says Burgundy, they think Burgundy wine. Brilliant, brilliant brandy. <laughs> We've only had two glasses, I promise. <coughs> but I, I just then had a little sneaky smell. I, I didn't mean to, but oh, I the did. nose. Yeah, I did. I did. I didn't mean to. But what? But oh. I got from that. No, I've definitely got prunes from that this time. Yes. Definitely prunes. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. The pruning. It's that that chocolate, that that bitter dark chocolate. A bit of chocolate. Bitter dark chocolate prunes and black cherry. Uh, yeah, black cherry I've got. I've not got a dark chocolate, but you always get the chocolate. I never seem mm. to get the chocolate. I'm so frustrated. But this is, we've actually, we have actually, before this one, we've tasted two, two others. And this is a very um, different wine to what we've been um, uh, tasting and smelling this evening. So this is, this is nice. This is... Yeah, because of its, because of its sort of difference. It's completely different. Yeah. It? But... And I wouldn't, I, I know this is Spanish, I wouldn't... No. I don't know, for some reason, if I smelt that and you asked me what country it came from, I would say Greece. I, I have no idea why, but... I don't know about, well, I don't know about Greece, but you would definitely not say that's Spanish. I would not recognise it. And you know I like the Spanish wines. You I love Rioja. Rioja. Yeah. But this... No, okay, okay, okay. So, so, on the nose, interesting. Yeah. Let's see what this is like on the palate. Okay. The taste. I don't know if this is my kind of wine, is what I'll put out there to begin with, but, well, you can't deny that, oh, ah. Uh, what we can't deny that is, is, is most of those flavours that came through on the nose, came through on, on the palate, but the tannins in there are just extreme for me. They are, the flavour's delightful, and you're going for it and thinking, mm, and then the tannins just come and literally kind of suck everything out, and then just leave you with these tannins. The tannins, are, as you may or may not know, I've never, I've never been my, uh, I've never been a fan of, and that just enjoying, enjoying. Mm. Well, I, ha I had that exact same reaction, but on the second, on the second swig, actually the tannins didn't kick in so much. They are kicking in now in terms of uh, the, the, the aftertaste that in the length there. They're really quite, quite prominent, but it is. A very, very different wine. Now, I remember the first time I drank this, I had, had this a few weeks ago, um, and I thought, nah, I don't really like this. Um, what surprises me is how much I'm liking it now, which just goes back to what we were saying about mood mm, and, yeah. and uh, you know, what you've eaten before, and in our case, what we've drunk before. Um, this actually is very, very interesting. It's very distinctive. It's very different from a lot of other... Uh, grapes. It's not a Merlot, it's not a Cab Sab. So it is very, very different. And mm. that makes me think that there'd be some people out there that don't enjoy red wine for whatever reason. The taste isn't just right for them. And this may well be the taste for them. Mm. But you're concerned about the tannins. I, I, yeah, the, 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 the tannins are the, the biggest thing in there for me. As I said at the beginning, flavours are good. That black cherry, the, the dark um, chocolate, bitter dark chocolate. And I think that that comes through, that, that, the bitterness which you get from the dark chocolate also comes through into that, that tannic uh, world. But for me, that's just, just too tannic. Um, so the, this needs food. I could not be drinking this 
um, with a friend and, you know, saying, finding the little nuances in there because the tannins would, um, would offend me too much. So, so this needs something. Um, so we're going to go on to the pairing here. And cheese-wise, for me, this is going to take uh, something big to take that on. Um, so I'm going to have to go and lean towards a, a, a cheddar. Now, cheddar, very generic when you say cheddar, you know, it could be anything, but I'm going to go very specifically down the line to the cheddar gorge, which is handmade, unpasteurized, the only cheddar that's still made in cheddar. But that's, that's, got, that's got the flavour and the protein in there that will take on that. And I think they, I think they would marry very, very well. Now, food-wise, John, you're going to have to go big. I'm going to have to go big. And funnily enough, the first thing that came to my mind, and, and I was struggling with this, because the first thing that came to my mind was uh, like a meat pizza with some, uh, some spicy meats on. So there's a full of taste, you know, the cheese there with the, the sort of fatty part. Uh, and, and for this to compete with. And, and, and that made me then think, well, maybe, you know, that's, that's uh, more of an Italian wine, uh, uh, Val Policello or something, yeah. rather, rather than this. Um, but in terms of maybe then, if you're going into uh, other, other meaty dishes, I don't think you'd be talking about any meat pies or anything like that. I think it'd have to be something spicy. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, yeah, I think you're right. The, the spice would take that on well. And I think, you, like you just said, you'd, you'd need the spice to take that on because that is a... For me, it's almost spoiling my enjoyment of this. You of, think of it's this slightly one. aggressive? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, is, it is. Do you think this would go with Indian food? It's curry, sort of spicy curry. Yeah, yeah, but, but depending on the, the meat that was in there. Yeah, of course, and the spice, but like a, me, a, medium, a medium curry, I think that maybe this, this would, uh, uh, would, would, would complement. But, but, but um, it's, 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 not a, it's not a chicken dish, it's not a, no. no, it's going to have to be some kind of beef or lamb. Yeah. Oh, I, I tell you what. Well, we'll think about that when we're talking about the curry. The, um, the, the starters, you can get the, um, uh, the um, lamb chops. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they'll be spicy, meaty enough. I reckon that, that would be good without, yeah. Yeah. And I guess, you know, if you were talk, talking some sort of, sort of spicy sort of cold meats, and, and uh, that would be nice to, uh, to pair with it. But, yeah, I, it's, it's, I think the main thing for me, this is different. And, and it's, it's, you know, viva la difference. Whatever he said. Yeah. So what we're thinking, like, okay, well, we're going to have to come to the score. What yeah. were we thinking on the score? Okay, so shall I go first? Please do. I'll get it. I'm going to go 79. My logic for that is that I would have gone higher, but as you say, the tannin is to sort of draw it back and limit it. It's very interesting. It's very individual. It's worth tasting. Um, but yeah, in terms of total, I'd, I'd go 79. Just nodges it down a bit. Yeah, and I, and I think you're very generous with that. Uh, but I appreciate what you're saying then. It is unique. It's something that if, if you're getting into wine, I think it's something you should definitely try because it might open your eyes as to, to a, 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 you know, a road you want to go down. Personally, myself, it doesn't do a lot for me. Um, you give it 79. I'll, I'm not, I'm not going to go too bad, but I will take this down to 76. 76 for me. Okay. For me. Okay, yeah, I, I totally get that. It is, it's one of those where, because it's different, it's, dif it's more difficult to, to, to pay. To pinpoint, yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's different. Am I, it's because I'm not used to it. Da, da, da. But, uh, well, I, you know, it's, it's, I've nearly finished it. So it well, I have. Almost yeah. Finished myself, so it's, it can't be that bad. It tells its own story, I guess. It tells its own story. It tells its own story, I like that, John. Yeah. Hey, so uh, we, hope you've, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you have. Uh, subscribe, if you, of course, if you haven't already. Uh, we really look forward to the next one where we will be exploring some other wines that hopefully we can introduce to you and that maybe make all the difference to your wine tasting journey. Until then, chin chin. Chin chin.